Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to show you how to properly bury uh, your dwarf or um, an animal in Dwarf Fortress when they have died, okay? So as you can see, uh, one of our dwarfs have died right over here. As you can see, the rotten corpse is on our floor, and we need to get it out of here because it's rotting, and uh, it looks kind of gross, as you can see. But Alright, let's go uh, back to where all our workshops are, and uh, we need to make a couple of things, okay? So we need first the carpenter's workshop. For the carpenter's workshop, we want to add the task of uh, making us a casket, obviously for the body. So we just search it up over here, wooden casket. We just need one. So uh, they're going to get on that. We can put that on priority. Put it all the way at the top, just for the, just for the video. Alrighty, so they're doing that. And then we need to go to our stone workers workshops. By the way, both of these workshops uh, in the build menu, they're very easy to find. Stone workers right over here, carpenters right over here. Right, so go to our stone workers, and we want to make a rock slab. I already have a couple of them being made just over time, right? And also, you want to uh, engrave an, a slab as well. So, you want to add another task. So, once you have the slab of uh, the rock slab being made, you add another task of engrave memorial slab. When you open this, it shows all the people that have died, right? As you can see, this is the first person who has died in this world for me, so um, there it is. So, uh, we're going to take this off as well because they already made it. And uh, we're just going to wait for them to make both of these items. And um, as they're making it, we already made our casket. So you want to find a nice space to kind of put, um, you know, wherever you want to bury them. I made this little area right over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put the casket down. So let's build. Let's go to furniture. Let's go to burial. Ooh, right over here. Alrighty. Uh, there it is. We're going to wait for somebody to actually come by and build that for us see who the lucky person is and we're still building the slab and everything that's gonna be uh, done as well I think it might be him it's a little bit far away so they do have to do a little bit of walking but let's see if the slab and engraving is done as you can see it is done as well so that's great to see so now we're gonna uh, put the let's just wait for him to finish so we can just do it step by step right so he has built the uh, coffin now, how do we get the dead person inside the coffin, you ask, right? All right, so we need a zone for this. So it's this uh, green uh, square right here around the face. Boom. We're going to go to Tomb. We're going to click on it. it just, it's just a one uh, space thing, right? Press Accept. And now you have a choice. Um, there's two choices here. So the choice is select this option of and any unassigned deceased citizen will be buried here. So this is for the, your dwarfs. And if you have any animals that have recently died and you want to bury them, this is for your animals, right? So you can switch on and off or you can do both. It doesn't really matter. You can build a lot of these and then just, you know, they'll fill up so you don't have to actually worry about it. You can do that as well. It's all up to you. And also you can assign someone who's currently living. So whenever they do pass away, they automatically get placed in that tomb. You can make it very nice if it's like a person, you know, you think is deserving of it. Whatever you want, however you want to do it. Obviously, there's a lot of ways to do it, but those are your options, right? So once we do that, um, they're going to go and find that person who's deceased. As you can see, it has already uh, it's already been put in. So if we go back to our right over here, as you can see, everything is cleaned up. All it is is just her items that we're just going to have to clean up as well, but her body is in the coffin. Now let's do the slab part, right? So now what I like to do with the slab... Um, Obviously, the slab helps with like you know make, making sure there's no ghosts or whatever, right? But um, what's it called? I like to like put the coffin and the slab kind of like next to each other. Obviously, sometimes you won't have the body, but if you do have the body, it's a good uh, way to kind of do it, in my opinion. But obviously, you can do it however you would like, right? So we're gonna do furniture. We're gonna do uh, where is it? Slab. Boom. Actually, no, I did that wrong. Hold on. Let's cancel this. We're gonna do uh, boom. We're gonna do furniture. Slab. And we want to choose select material after placement because we want to choose the engraving one, not just any random one, right? Uh, boom. Then we're going to hit this arrow. And as you can see, this one is engraved to uh, the person who's in there, right? Boom. So you want to get that engraving. And now that should be done. He's going to come in here. There you go. That's the body delivered. As you can see, it is sealed now with the body inside. There's the corpse. And then the slab is about to be constructed by whoever uh, shows up. I think it's going to be this guy right over here. And that's pretty much how you do it. Very simple, very easy. Hurry up. A little auto save, a little cheeky auto save in, 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 in the video. It is what it is. 
I'm not getting rid of it. It is what it is. All right. He doesn't have the building materials. He just went all the way up here with no building materials. Good job. Now you can go back and get to it. Oh, this person's doing it. There it is. All right. As you can see, this is the memorial. So uh, this person has been memorialized. And also their body is right over here in the uh, coffin. There you go. That's pro how you properly bury somebody and memorialize them in Dwarf Fortress. And uh, that'll do for me. And I'll see you in the next one.